Hi right, guys, um, I'm just going to work out a little basic beginner's workout um, that you can do at home. Uh, you can do it on time based. So I would say for now, for a beginner, 30 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. If you need to rest more, rest more. But 30, 20 should be fine. So you're not going to be based on a rep, you're going to be based on time. And I'll take you through the eight exercises and give you uh, a couple of pointers on each. And um, yeah, then you should be fine. Uh, you only need for this workout a mat and a couple of light dumbbells and you're good to go. Okay, uh, if you don't have dumbbells at home, you can use two cans, two cans of peas, you can use two water bottles, you can use two bricks, two pieces of wood, um, anything that, that you can hold in your hands that has a little bit of resistance. Okay. You can just walk on the spot. All right. You can do that for about 30 seconds. Then I want you to do so. Just walk on the spot 30 seconds. Then you can do a high knees 30 seconds. Okay. And then you can also do a side. So just lift your leg to the side. Just even if, if you are tight in this area, just lift it to where you can. Okay. With time, it will get higher. All right. Then I also just want you to punch for 30 seconds. So you can just have a stopwatch. Or you can get yourself a timer on your on your, on your watch, just gonna punch for 30 seconds. Okay, and then I want you to do a good morning for 30 seconds. So just touch and up, touch and up. You do a shoulder roll, and you just roll the shoulders forward, and then you can just roll the shoulders back as well. What you can do with these is with time, just go bigger. So start off this one, you can do for 15 minutes, 15 seconds back, 15 seconds forward. Okay, so when you go, start. And then just go bigger and bigger until you've got a nice full circle. When you're doing a full circle, you are stretching your back over there and over here, you're stretching your chest out. Okay, so I'm stretching my chest. So, one of those nice big ones, and then you do exactly the same going forward. When you go back, stretching your chest to move forward, you're rounding that back and you're stretching that back. Just have your feet like this, and you're just going to take your, your legs over to the side. This is a nice one for the torso. Again, also just torso is flat on your stomach. And side to side. Okay. Then, okay. So that's your warm up. If you want to add some stuff, you can. Reach for the sky. Okay. Touch. Reach for the sky. Remember, back is straight, so look forward. Okay, that's number one. You do 30, like we said, 30 seconds of that. Open. So you're gonna open your hands. Just there. And just go. Okay. Break it down and then take it up from the side. Then watch my elbow. My elbow is staying in one place. I'm not swinging my arms. And I'm not bringing my arms. Well, it stays there a little, so that's what we'll probably normally be. Take a little bit forward and then curling. Okay, choose the weight that's comfortable. I really don't care. At the moment, it's about blood flow, it's about working the joints, and it's just about okay, getting it haunted up a little bit. The next one is the squat. So, if you've got a nice high chair, you can use that. Okay, so all you're going to do is stand, arms up. The arms up helps keep the back straight. Okay, because if you do this, people tend to do this and they're around their back. So arms up, look forward, sit down, and stand up. Sit down, and stand up. And watch my knee. I'm not sitting down like this. With my knees coming over, I'm sitting down, pushing my bum back. Okay. A nice high chair. If you don't have a high chair, you can also just do it here. And just do that. Small movement for now. Right. Watch the knees when you do this. We don't want the knees going out. Okay, we want the knees just there. Staying straight. Okay, so that's your squat. That's exercise three. Number four is the 90 degree crunch. Alright. So, yeah. Now here's the 90 degree here. There's a 90 degree here. This just keeps your lower back flat. Okay, as soon as I do this, see that arch? We don't want that. So keep that legs back. Keep that flat. And then from there, you just crunch up. 
Okay. Nice and easy. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. If you start fatiguing here, maybe for now with this being sore, put your legs down. But tilt the pelvis. Okay, so not there. We want to tilt the pelvis so the back is flat. And then crunch. As you do the crunch, you're gonna you're gonna relax and you're gonna tilt in. So just be mindful of keeping that tilt. Lower back must be flat. Yeah, this is the most important thing about this exercise: is the, the uh, pelvis tilted and the lower back flat. Okay, after the crunch, we'll do a dumbbell kickback. Okay, so you grab your weight again, and you're gonna bend forward. My back stays nice and straight. I look forward. Elbows up. My elbows stay here. Okay, and then I take my my forearms to where they're perpendicular with the ground. Okay, so that's not good. My run dead straight into the ground. Okay, that's at an angle. So I stop at 90 degrees. You can go at 90. Kick and down. Kick. And I'm always stopping at 90. Okay, for now, if you want to cheat, that's fine. If you come past 90, but don't let the elbows move. Okay, so the elbows are stuck. Like the bicycle, elbows are tight. Tight next to your body. Okay, if you want to cheat, you can bring a post, but the elbows stay tight. Okay, that's your kickback and your tummy. Okay, you're just lifting left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. The dumbbell sideways. So it's just two dumbbells. And it's just lifting up side. Lift it just a little bit higher than the shoulders. So not in line with the shoulders, just a little bit higher. Okay. And again, not momentum. So it's not just... <sighs> this is just momentum. I'm almost not even using my shoulder. Nice and slow up. Slow down. Slow up. And slow down. You just stand and go up. If you do have a little step, like I've got this little step in front of the fireplace, stand on it. Drop the heels. And up, drop the heels and up. So get a nice full range of motion. Heels down. I'm stretching the calf. Now I'm coming up. When you come up, try to rotate inward. Don't rotate out. So a lot of people tend to go on their toes, and they want to go on your big toe when you come up. Okay. Let that be the focus there. The last one you're gonna do is just the line chest fly. So you need your dumbbells again. Head and shoulders relaxed. Arms up. What I want you to do is I want you to lift the hip. Because by lifting the hip, we're going to work this posterior chain as well. Squeeze your bum here. Yeah? Just lift up and fly. Give me a shout. Uh, there's a that that warm up you can do. There's also the stretches on on the YouTube page. So I'll I'll just give you a link to that. Okay. All right. Good luck. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. If you feel uncomfortable with anything or need some advice, please feel free to just give me a shout. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>